The Little Ice Age, virtually all the studies suggest that the glaciers during the Little Ice Age from the 1700s to the mid 1800s were the biggest they had been in over 10,000 years since the melting of this. This is important to keep in mind when we talk about you know, modern glacier recession and modern climate change is that you always have to ask, what's the baseline? What are we comparing it to, right? So we're basically saying our industrial revolution began roughly at the end of the Little Ice Age, see? Human introduction of fossil fuel, human introduction of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere really didn't pick up momentum until World War II. Coming out of World War II, what you see is the graph of CO2, human CO2 into the atmosphere looks like this. S slowly rising, then World War II in the 50s, boom, it goes way up, right? But if you look at glacier recession, what you see is that the glaciers are going down at least 100 years before we were putting significant amounts of fossil fuel into the atmosphere. So there was something natural going on here that, that can't be blamed on humans. 